So we have a file name, that's the first thing. If we stat it, we have the metadata, that's the second thing. And if we cat it, we have the contents of the file, that's the third name. File name, metadata, and contents. Notice that I separated file name and metadata. There's a reason I did that. Because if I stat file.txt, you can see the file name shows up here. So you would think that it's part of the metadata, right? If I gstat file.txt, you can see the file name shows up here. So you would think it's part of the metadata, right? Well, if we use like, let's say that Python example, Python 3, import os, os.stat file.txt, notice what's missing. There's no file name here. The file name is not stored in the inode. The file name is not part of the file's metadata. This is very important. This is how we have things like hard links and basically just hard links. And I'm gonna talk about sim links later. That is a source of fear for a lot of people. I know hard links can get very confusing. We're gonna talk about that. We're gonna demystify that in this video. So don't worry, I'm gonna break it down. But just understand that right now, the file name is not stored in the file's metadata. A file metadata does not know what its name is. Where does that name come from? When I ls my current directory, and my current directory is dot, we get the file name. The directory knows the name of the file and it knows how to get metadata about that file. So what does a directory actually store? It stores the file names and their inode number. You can think of it like a key value store. How it's actually stored is gonna uh, differ depending on the actual underlying file system, but you can think of it like a key value store. In fact, I think I can do ls-i and it gives me the inode number and the name of the file. This is how the directory stores information. Basically, it has the name of the file and the inode number. Super simple, super useful. So the file name is here. This inode number can be used to get metadata about the information. And then this can also be used to get contents of that actual file. The nice thing is, as a programmer, I don't have to worry about that. I don't have to say, hey, let me take this file name, stat it, get the inode information, get where the contents are stored and go into the contents. No, 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 no. The kernel abstracts all that for me. I can just call read on an open file descriptor and bam, I can just start reading the file. I don't have to traverse into it. I don't have to stat it. In fact, when I start reading from a file, I don't actually have the metadata about the file. That's a completely separate call to get that information. So pretty neat, pretty cool.